Greetings, my fellow vampires, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Rimworld Crimson Empress, Episode 8, Cryptbound. So once 1, 2, 3, and 4 snap out of it, we have a binging on alcohol and a hiding in a room. Once they snap out of it and Edelwolf can stand back up, we can ship them out. They've been a right pain in my butt. And you guys decided for Euphrine or Euphrin or whatever her name is to enslave. So convert and then enslave. Uh, then we have one more, Petronas. So here is Petronas, Iron Will Tough Shooter. Can't I carry them to the to the uh, so I can carry the one that's unconscious, but the other that are mentally broken I cannot carry. I'll show you in a second. So the last guest. So just to recap, uh, it was Ghoul for Kamenos, or Kamenos or whatever. It was Enslave for Euphrin, and then for Petronas, it's whatever you vote in now. And then once I'm done with all of this nonsense of this these guests and raids, etc., etc., I can go to that crypt. Long time coming. Murderous Rage killing Patricia. Okay, that's fine. They can die of no consequence. Oh, and I have a raid landing on top of me. Uh, where is it? Who is it centered on? Right here. Uh, they're invisible. That's a bug. A very awkward one. I do a uh, kind brawler. Yeah, let's try to knock the kind brawler unconscious. The invisible kind brawler. So, Nieces, or whatever her name is, is going to get captured. Hmm. There is the issue of they're literally invisible, though. So I'm going to try to save and load. Don't know if that's going to fix it. But uh, if it doesn't, I might have to execute them, not because I want to, but because I don't know if I'm going to be able to deal with, like, an invisible person. My guess is if I change their clothing, they will be uh, visible again, but who knows. One of those weird game mechanic bug things that happens. Yeah, they're visible. Hey, look at that. So we're still voting on what to do with Petronas, who just got knocked unconscious due to blood drain. <laughs> That's cruel. Uh, so if I wanted to put these guys into the shuttle, like let's set the load, see how I can't even load the ones that are a mental break? I don't have the option. So I have to wait until their mental breaks are resolved for them to be able to be get uh, loaded up and put away. Addy, that is still not your gear. I think we've gone over this. Bye, Patricia. All right. Kanata now has a kidney back due to vampiric healing because of being a ghoul. One of the benefits of being ghouls, you can just put your body parts back. So that's good. 
I think that was the... Yeah, that was what we wanted to do. Atzin still needs to uh, gain his first level in order to maybe fix the cirrhosis. Uh, Whisper, you leveled up. Let's give you Potence 3. So now your melee is a clean 20. Whoever gets in your way is going to have problems. And Patronus is going to become a ghoul. So last but not least, what we're going to do with nieces. In prison. In slave. Oh, and uh, I'll put his stats up right now. So brawler, kind, melee, and art passion. Enslaved ghoul. Ghoul or full-fledged vampire. Toxic Spewer for pay. So we have two things to vote on after I'm done with all these guys. Toxic Spewer is... Mm, Eltix, uh, there's basically no rewards there that I can even use. But you can still vote for it as a trade good if you want. And we're only waiting on Ferretti to snap out of binge. Oh, and there it goes. I think. Nope, still, still binging. Can you just get drunk and pass out? You're drinking all of my beer, and everyone's waiting on you, and you're really annoying. Whisper leveled up. I'm gonna give you suicide. I can just compel someone to commit suicide. Kind of a funny ability. Athsin, you got knocked out. Let's give you your bow again. Cool. Right, where is the captain drunk? Hide the beer? No, I kind of want them to pass out. You can't really hide the beer. You have to, like, wall it up, and that's kind of annoying to do. Steel boot. Thank you for the resub. They should be snapped out of it any second now. No longer binging an alcohol. Perfect. When I said any second, I literally meant any second. Oh my god. Did he go into a daze? Alright, you know what? I don't know what is the result of this. But I am going to knock you unconscious. I guess that works, right? And then carry you to shuttle. Okay, I'll use sleep in the future. I was worried that it would cause um, relationship loss, but it didn't. Bye. You were horrible. Never come back. And friends in danger are done, and I get my harp. Ah, the things I do for a harp. Um, who's setting themselves on fire? Whisper was. Okay, and Nisus is going to become a ghoul. So if Nisus is going to become a ghoul, convert, convert, convert. Alright, we do have another quest to vote on. Uh, so Toxic Spewer. Hey! MVP! Welcome! Should we accept a toxic spewer? Yes or no. So keep in mind, we're not allowed to use pulsers. We're not allowed to use side trainers and we're not allowed to use a psychic sensitizer. So the rewards of this quest are maybe not all that useful. Um, but if you want to accept it anyway, that's fine. Cause uh, going to a toxic spewer might give us an opportunity to capture people or something like that. 
And I'll try to resolve this before the time resolves. But it looks like the no's are going to win by a lot. Hey, niece is already converted. So, recruit. Oops. <laughs> you saw me feed on Vaughn, huh? You saw nothing. And I think this monument can be destroyed of no consequence. Uh, the issue is it is holding up the roof, so I have to be careful about dismantling it. Now that I have these pillars built, I can dismantle these old ones. Who's in here? What? What? We, we put someone in the sarcophagus? Is this a really hard game to get into? No. There's a lot of game mechanics that are tough to learn, but um, it's very easy to get into, in my opinion. Because all you have to do is play on a low difficulty and learn as you go, and it is a lot of fun. A siege. Oh, that's cute. I'm going to leave Ath out of this. I can't believe they chose to siege at night. Oh, you didn't even make it out. Uh, Ath, I'm going to have you rescue this person for... for uh, reputation. But you're going to have to feed them immediately. Oh, you have such a small siege party. It's pathetic. It truly is. Let's see if I can't blood boil them next to their shells. You shooting at me? No, you're not. Oh, got your shells. Shucks. That's going to hurt you more than it's going to hurt me. All right, and they're officially assaulting the colony so I can back up a regroup. Hey, Glitter, go invisible. I think because we have, um... Mike, why aren't you moving? You're hammered. Oh! One, oh, we are, I'm like blood drunk. That's cute. All right, never mind. Don't back up. I drank too much. Too greedy. All right, glitter. Start firing. And then everyone else is catching up. So time for my ghouls to prove their worth. And my full-fledged vampire. Let's see. Any of them are... If any of them are amazing, I would consider more prisoners, but I'm a little bit of prisoner max. Like, I just can't handle too many more. There's some that are decent. But none none that I'm going to make a particular effort to uh to isolate. All right, you two come on up. Let's drop a sleep on you. Haha. <laughs> Oh, you think a 
brain damage would matter. No, it doesn't. I'll be out of that brain damage in a second. Uh, okay, glitter. You fire on that person. Addy, you close the distance for them. Oh, and the shells are blowing. Marauder, I thought I told you to move forward, but I guess you haven't. Alright, what I'm gonna do is... I'm gonna carry Whisper. I'm gonna need to, um, f manually feed blood packs to Whisper. So I'm gonna get Whisper out of there. And get her fed. Uh, they're already fleeing. So that's fine. Feed on the ones that are fleeing. Excuse me, get away. Oh, Addy didn't catch him in time. Well, this one is getting... This one's trying to f start a fight, so... Yeah, you want to fight? That's fine. I'll feed on you. Alright, Marauder, once you're done, haul that plaz steel sword. And we have rescued... So... Uh, no food? Go. Oh, you're not allowed to do doctoring. Alright, so I need to extract blood from them to feed to, uh... To feed to Whisper. So I'm just checking the prisoners here who has blood to spare. Not a lot of them do. Just a few vials and a pack. We'll make do. Alright, you guys say, don't bother with that. What about the psychic drone? Let me pull on that. Should I accept the drone? Yes or no. So the rewards are here. We've got a pulsar, a low shield pack, uranium, a legendary bow, and silver. And it's a psychic drone that will buzz females at medium strength for four and a half days. It's not a sight, so I can't stop it. Oh, are you just drinking him? Damn it. Now he's not going to have enough blood for the uh, operation. So here's the blood vials. I don't know. Um, let's see. So beast. The beast is coming. So what, what I want to do is create a new food priority. I don't know exactly how this works. Of Just call it blood. And allow blood packs. And then whisper is going to set to blood. No, I can't seem to feed her. Can't uh, can't transfer high blood. Let me see if I can't uh, create a blood pack out of myself, out of glitter. As a uh, as an emergency measure. 
So here's the Drunner pole. Just put that up. And then runner up would be Fraggles. Fraggles, you operate. Glitter, don't eat that. Here, you need to feed on someone, feed on Marauder. He's okay. Oh! Nope! Whisper just turned into the beast. So, this is when they get so hungry, they become, they lose control. Oh, and she got knocked out. Good. Man, my regenerate part isn't working. But it's using my Vitae, which is weird. Alright, so there she is with a pounding hangover. I think once the hangover goes away, I'll be able to uh, regenerate that brain damage. So she's still starving. Uh, what I want to do is I want to extract blood from those that have blood to be extracted to then feed it to, to Wisp. Oh, she's beasting again. Never mind. She keeps regaining consciousness and then going all blood drunk and then losing consciousness again. All right, so let's try to focus on giving her the blood that she needs. So Azrael Kai... I am going to extract some blood from you. Fraggles, what about your blood? Yep, you got blood too. So I'm extracting from Azrael Kai and Fraggles. I'll extract a pack each and feed it to Whisper. Now don't eat it. Stop eating it. And you say, don't accept the drunner. Got it. No, quit eating it, glitter. Uh, Marauder, you have blood to spare. Sorry, I'll have to feed on you. All right, here we go. Blood pack going in. And then Azrael Kai, there's another blood pack here as well. Now that we don't have a um, cold spot, I could probably get rid of these campfires. Save myself some wood. Yeah, for whatever reason, the Vitae is not going back up. That's weird. Probably a bug. If I was to guess. So I might dev mode to fix it. Puppy treats. Sure thing. You think it's only fixable in dev mode? Yeah, the the any of the operations that I've been doing just haven't been working. I mean, th there's some bugs with the mod. Um, 
It will sound mean, but a lot of Drekrel mods, this being one of them, um, come with a fair share of bugs because they haven't really been maintained in a long time. He was a modder around, uh, a very prolific modder around the time of, um, of like RimWorld 1.1. And most of the mods haven't really been updated since. Oh, Kamenos has converted. So time to recruit. So if I recall correctly, Kamenos and Patronas are becoming ghouls. Euphrini or Euphrin or whatever is becoming a just enslaved. And then Nieces is becoming a well, actually, what do we vote on Nieces? Uh I forget. Ghoul, I think. Yeah, I think all three were ghouls. Oh, whispers up. Here's scars. There. Brain damage is gone. She's just having to drink her fill. I should rename the prisoner when the vote's concluded? You can't rename prisoners. Um, I, uh, otherwise I would. You can only rename them when they, um, join you. Alright. We're almost no longer blood drunk. There we go. We're good. She's back to normal. Uh, where is your weapon? Your plasma blade. Did we not? I ordered it to be hauled. I'm just going to assume it was lost because I don't see it anywhere. Ah, R Rize is about to become a vamp. Resistance has been um, zeroed. So I told Marauder, I think, to haul it. But if I was to guess, it got burned up in the uh, in the blood boil explosion over here. That's okay. There will be others. I'll just have to make sure to disarm a like persona blade or uh, blade holder. So prepare to go to a crypt has been a long time coming. I've been real busy. And Whisper is going to wear the armor now. Get ready for that crypt fight. So, I think... What I want to do is... Maybe try to make a longsword. A, a few of them and pick the best one. To go fight an ancient vampire. Kamenos, you are... Yeah. So, let's see. Coven, Lightbringer. Coven, Lightbringer. Okay. Yep. Everything is correct. One of the new shelves? No, I, I set up the new shelves pretty quickly. So, there aren't on the shelves yet. I, I do think it burned up. I don't think I have it. Yeah. We'll just make a longsword. I'm not going to accept this just yet, so we're not accepting the Droner. So there's five refugees, and I'll accept this um, when my prisons empty out a little bit more. Because obviously I'm just going to immediately imprison the refugees. And hey, Reze. So you are going to be a full-fledged vampire. Um, you're nimble. So you're definitely going to be a whisper vampire. So let me embrace you. In fact, 
before I do that, I'm going to extract a blood pack out of Whisper, because she's going to get a lot of blood back from Reze. And then I can um, put that blood that I'm extracting out of Whisper back into Reze. So Reze, raffle timer's up. And let's hope that I remember to actually do the physical raffle this time. So good luck to you subscribers. So I'm going to extract one more pack. Don't eat that. I wish they I wish they wouldn't do that. They just sort of ignore. They treat it, I don't know. They treat it a bit of like a drug, a bit of food. So now I'm low on Vitae, and you are going to be a vampire. So relinquish your title. And let's go into the ritual room. That seems like a fitting place to do this. Embrace. So I'm embracing him with Whisper because he's uh, nimble, so he's going to be a better brawler than he is a ranged. Wow, you didn't have a lot of food on you. Unfortunately, it's noon, so I can't really go hunting for blood all that easily. But I'll try, because they're hungry. Oh, there's some good bows here. Oh, actually, maybe it's in this stockpile somewhere. Let's delete that stockpile. and I, I don't see it. Yeah. I don't see it anywhere. That's okay. Let's give you Blood Strike as well. Feed from a distance. Bad time to be an antelope. With hungry, bloodthirsty vampires nearby. Just the way it is sometimes. Oh, there's the sword. Alright, is the sword usable with a shield? No. Okay, that's fine. So, vampire, let's give you... Your proper scheduling and your work priorities and two minutes left on the timer this vampire yeah you're mostly just a combatant I guess a hauler and cleaner you'll be a good fighter I hope And that frees up another bed, so we'll move Mises over. I still want to make those swords because um, this is a vampire here. Man, I need more range, huh? This vampire here is um, going to want a, a good blade. Long swords are coming. Whisper's been busy. Everything looks pretty tidy, though, which is awesome. Tidy and clean, and things are getting hauled and butchered. Uh, our blood levels are pretty good. We're not super hungry at the moment for blood. And the swords are coming out. Could we stop drinking the guest? <laughs> She's never going to be able to leave if we just keep drinking her. Oh, Addie has a point. 
Uh, let's go towards sleep. Raffles up. Hey, Scorpioza. I'm guessing you're going to want to be named Scorpio. So there you go. Full-fledged. 11th generation vampire. Congrats. I think it is about time to attempt for a vault. I'm going to save first. I'm a little paranoid. Sometimes these vaults bug out. So Whisper, with the two slaves, and Addy. We'll bring the pemmican for the slaves. Also add pemmican to their allowable food. So the slaves are mostly coming as like a source of food. And sent. So for human food, Pem is allowable. No, I just screwed that up. I have to remake the whole thing. Meals and smoked meat. All right, off we go. <laughs> yeah, you go to delivery. Hey, buddy. Well, that's a lot of gazelle. Hope we butchered them up. Hey, Tusky. Tusk's here, too. Hey, girl. She's very sweet. <laughs> Man, he is all ears right now, isn't he? I'm also petting Tusk. You just can't see it. The camera will change back in a minute. My sweet little girl. So they will be there in about a half day. And they are traveling. The other thing I'm going to want to do is go into a bit of a holding pattern. I want to enter it at night. I don't want to enter it during the day because that would be very bad for the vampires. They would need to take cover immediately. Glitter, how's the progress down here? 6.8, 20. Uh, still need to be converted and... All right, we're gonna have a lot of ghouls coming out pretty soon. Tuss looks very happy. She does, she is very happy. She's a very happy puppy. Uh, the wife also delivered me a little bit of food, so Tusk is, I think, here because of the food more than her desire to hang out with me. Being in a caravan during the day, vamps are fine. Uh, it's, it's the slaves are just holding an umbrella. They just have a giant beach umbrella. It's, uh, it's a life, a life hack for vamps. And here's that guest, which should raise my rela- well, actually my relationship's 100, so. Won't raise anything, but it's good to do.
do a little remodeling because glitter can help construct well. Everyone else is out. And they've arrived. Uh, I'm going to have them just hang out a little bit because it's not safe for them to go inside yet. yet. It's... What? They ate all the pemmican? Jeez Louise. Oh. Oh, so here, Scorp... Oh, boy. Who's close by? Glitter, you go. Because you're fast. Scorpio, uh, ran... Oh, it's okay. His fear of the sun subsided because it's nighttime now. Which means I'm going to go into the crypt. Thank you for tuning in to Crimson Empress, which originally streamed live on Twitch July 23rd and July 24th. If you have any feedback or questions for me about this series, please let me know in the comments below. But keep in mind that the series has since ended. It streamed one time only. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams that adjust for your time zone. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com or the description of this video have a link to Discord. Thank you so very much for watching, a special thank you to my Patreon patrons and Twitch subscribers, as well as viewers like you that support the channel and those that showed up to the live stream. I'll catch you in next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow vampires.